Why? I'm vlogging. What's up, what's up? I started this first. So? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today is Friday, September 22nd. And today is going to be day one of our market kind of I guess so we have two markets this weekend um, today we have the st. Jacobs market um, harvest hoedown I think that's what it's called it's from 5 to 10 and then Saturday Sunday we're gonna be at Hamilton Comic Con which is gonna be super fun and exciting um, pretty much our stock is uh, gonna be whatever is left over from London Comic Con because that was last week um, and I was able to restock, um, a couple, uh, um, trans big bees I'm working on one right now. And then I was working on restocking the asexual and non-binary bees, but I didn't realize I ran out of chunky black yarn. <laughs> so I don't have any, the Michaels near me don't have any. So Hamilton store says that they do have them in stock. And I think... Uh, my boyfriend might go out afterward on setting up to go get me some. Um, that's him being super loud over there. <laughs> I think he's changing the garbage. Um, but yeah, I was able to do some hats too because we sold out of all of our like colored hats and black hats, but I didn't make any black hats, but I made these ones. Um, and... Yeah, it's gonna be a long, exhausting weekend. It's gonna be a lot of driving for us. Um, but it is our last card of September, I think. We actually don't have any. Um, we have one scheduled in November, maybe two scheduled. Um, it's not confirmed yet for the second one, uh, but hopefully. And then we are going to be on a little bit of a break so I can catch up on stock, do some customs, catch up on a bunch of other stuff school because I started school recently again um but yeah so I guess we'll see how it goes update I can't find my crochet hook that I use for sweet Douglas light which means that I can't make another what is he doing I can't make another haku I don't know where it is I had two of them and can't find them so we're at the market now and we're supposed to be set up right now, but because we were running late, we didn't, we did not set up. Um, and Marsh is cracking our displays back, um, which means he's just like, oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's like pushing everything together to make sure that, yeah, like that. I don't know if you heard that. Um, but now we just have to put the plushies out. I don't know if it's going to be a good market because we are like in the St. Jacob's Market building and it's a nice day out and uh, there's a bunch of vendors outside and like there's like four vendors inside. Um, we're like in the middle area near like the donut place so we're like in the middle of the hall. I don't know if we're going to do good. We'll see. And I'm like already done. Like it cost $113 I think for this market spot and I don't know if we're gonna make that we're put we're doing our eight foot setup as well it's a big big boy um which takes a lot of work uh, just putting up this display because we didn't bring our like regular outdoor market setup um because we knew we were gonna be inside so obviously we can do our artist alley setup and we also have Hamilton Comic Con tomorrow so I'm just like already exhausted thinking about how we have to set this up Take it down in a few hours and then oh that was loud and then drive all the way back to our homes just to drop the hamilton so i'm not ready i don't want to do it hey guys so we're in a horrible spot um we're in a very bad spot and we haven't made any sales yet and it's been an hour and i think oh like, it has yeah, I think I can count on my hand how many people have walked by. There's nobody. Nobody. I mean, there is two people there, but like, 
They're not even coming They're this way. They're not even coming this way. Nobody knows that we're here. We're like in the middle of nowhere. So. So sad. Yeah, we're not having fun. And we have Hamilton Comic Con tomorrow. And I would rather be sitting up in Hamilton Comic Con. Wow. What? I, you, you got nasty all over yourself. Okay, so I walked around. <laughs> I walked around. I saw my friend Liv from Liv Lush and bought some scrunchies for a bestie um, and matching dog scrunchies as well. They're so cute. I'll show them in a second. Then I also got nachos because if we're not going to make any money, we might as well have a good time, you know? We're spending $113 to be here. So, I also got him a big boy drink. It's tall. And I got, got myself an iced tea because I'm like, not a carbonated person. Even though that's not carbonated. So, I don't know. I just love some ice tea. So, yeah. <laughs> In all the times that we've been here, we have never tried these. Not just, or gotten food from the chip place here. So I hope it's good. Pretty good. The market is over. We literally only sold, I think, six things. Um, we did not make our table back, which really sucks because I thought it was gonna be a good time. And I can't remember if this was our first time not making our market table back or our second because I can't remember if the Strawberry Night Festival, we made our table back. I think we might have just made it back, but that doesn't really mean anything because, you know, like it's not worth it <laughs> if we just made it back. But yeah, it's a little upsetting. I honestly just think it was our placement. That's what I want to think. But I mean, like the last festival that we came to like this, also we didn't do good. So I don't know. And it was raining at the last one. So I think that I have to do some thinking about what, if we're gonna do, I think that I need to, I think that I need to think about if we're gonna do another festival market thing, Madrid, this, like here. Again, like regular market days, we do absolutely fine. We, you know, we make a profit and we have a good time and we're here for a long time, you know, from 7 a.m. until like 3.30. But I don't know. I don't know. It's like four hours and it's $113. And uh, I don't know. So hopefully Hamilton goes well tomorrow and we make back some money because I don't know. I'm sad. So I think that maybe we're going to go get something to treat ourselves, even though I already spent money here buying food earlier for dinner but i'm hungry again because we shared nachos from one of the places anyways yeah i'm already tired it's gonna be a long weekend for us we gotta drive back and hopefully it doesn't take us too long hi guys it is like literally 12 o'clock right now and we're headed back to our hometown um, so that the drive in the morning isn't as bad. Um, I think it should take us around 45 minutes to get home and then 45 minutes uh, to drive there in the morning and we want to be there around 7, 7.30. It's also Hoko right now in Waterloo. So there are children everywhere. I mean, they're like our age, so they're not really children, <laughs> but like there's people everywhere. Oh. Mirage brought boyfriend brought a banana. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna go home. Hopefully, we get some sleep tonight. Um, we did not have a good market, so I'm hoping tomorrow's better. Um, and we're also gonna go get McDonald's. Hi, good morning. It's 6 30, and we just left the house. And we're headed to Hamilton Comic Con. Um, we were awake at like 5.30. It just took us a while to actually get out of the house. I feel like my house was so dry, so we each like drank a full glass of water and just sat there letting it sit for like 20 minutes or something like that. And my brother is also coming because he is going to be filming some videos for us and helping us um which is exciting and 
<sighs> it's only gonna take us 40 minutes to get to the Canadian Warplane Museum, so that's pretty exciting. Our car is super packed. Packed, packed, packed. I don't know what it's packed with because I feel like we have no stock. Um, but we're gonna grab some breakfast. I don't know if we're going. I don't know where we're going, but there's somewhere on the GPS that we're gonna get breakfast from. Um, and then we are off to the museum to set up. <laughs> Yeah. Almost forgot, but here's our matching. So Walter White and Jesse Pickman just came up to us and they sold us some Substances. mysterious substance. <laughs> Amazing. It's, what time is it? It's 1.30. And 30. we just got Swiss LA. Boyfriend wants to go pick it up. Ooh, that was a horrible sound. So time to get some games, baby. Time to get some games. So we just finished day one at Hamilton Comic Con. We're headed home now to drop a bunch of stuff off, get changed, and then head to our family party. Hey guys, so we just finished um, at like our family dinner and now we're headed back home. It's about 11 15. It's gonna take us like 25 minutes to get home and then I think that we're just gonna like shower and get in bed and like go to sleep because we gotta wake up early tomorrow. We're probably gonna leave around 7.30 um, and hopefully it doesn't take us as long as yesterday to get there. Um, but at least this time we get an extra couple hours of sleep because we're gonna be in bed hopefully by 12. But today was super good, really tiring and hopefully tomorrow it's not as tiring as this. I know we have to take all of our setup down but we have some fun plans. Um, we have plan fun plans planned for after the con um, to go and eat some dinner with some of our other artist friends. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> Good morning guys. So we just uh, left my house and we are headed to get some Tim Hortons. It's about eight o'clock right now. Um, we left a little bit later than we were going to just cause we were talking with my parents and took us a little bit longer than we expected to roll out of bed. Um, I think that we're gonna go and grab something to eat. Yeah, we are. And then we're gonna head to the convention hall. We honestly aren't really in a rush. Oh, just, um, we're not really in a, in a rush because our stuff is already set up. We just have to put out the stuff. And you know, the hardest part about setup for us is literally making our like keep setup. So it's not difficult anymore. And I'm happy because I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep very well last night and my tummy kinda hurts. So we'll see if if today goes well. Hopefully I'm just excited to go to dinner. Um, we still haven't decided where we're gonna go, but I think we're gonna talk to you our friends today about it and hopefully we go somewhere really good and also not too far away because we're gonna head back to our apartment after the con and I'm not sure I don't know how long it's gonna take and hopefully there's not traffic but yeah, we'll see you guys at the con <sighs> okay so it's like 2.30 now we got about an hour and a half left. We're not doing much better. <laughs> We're not doing much better than yesterday. It's okay. But we're excited. We're gonna go for Korean barbecue after. So I'm I'm really excited. I just wanna pack up already and go. I was able to chat with a few of the other exhibitors. Um, some of my friends that I didn't know that were here. Uh, I saw them and then 
Um, my dad came because my brother gave him his his pass from yesterday. So. So I'm so tired and I'm lying down on two chairs put together. I don't know if you can see. I'm exhausted. I have no social battery. I'm ready to sleep. I'm so tired. I don't know why. Usually I'm not this tired at cons, but this weekend, it was just different. It was just different. I think because London was exhausting last weekend. I just want to go home and sleep for a week. Ah, we'll see. He's chilling. He's doing my job. He's he's running the business. He's the face of the business now. I made one reel. One reel with him in it. Crocheting and sewing bee wings on. And it has almost 40,000 40, views. I don't know. Clearly, clearly the people like him more and I think that I'm just gonna let him take over the business now. I'll just do all the, he told me, you know, he told me that I'm his supplier. I'm just a supplier. Not even girlfriend anymore, just a supplier. So if I took over the business, you're gonna make me the business and I said, you make me the business, I'm making you the supplier. And you're not gonna get to breathe <laughs> properly anymore. You're always gonna have to crochet. I can't do that. It's so much. I don't know. Too tired. I need my brother here as well. It was so much easier too with Jacob here. It was so much easier here with my brother here. Because then... Oh! We could have taken that as an opportunity to walk around together, but we didn't. Because my brother knows how to do everything, and same thing with my sister. But, oh well. I don't know. Hopefully, we're not too tired going back to our apartment tonight, because we're going to go out in Hamilton to free Korean barbecue. I'm super excited for that, and hopefully it's good. I don't really know where we're going. And I also kind of want to tear down early we don't usually tear down early either but like it's super dead and that just that just might be the vibe for this con i don't know you will we'll see hey guys we just finished packing up and it took us like how long did it take us 30 minutes i feel like it took us 30 40 minutes um, it was a little difficult to get like the left panel off just because the height that it was was the same height from the floor up to the top so we had to remove the bottom part first before taking it off the table doing what we normally do and dismantling it um, and so that took us uh, a little bit of brain power and we don't really have any brain power right now because we're both exhausted so <laughs> We are now headed to, I think we're going to a place called Spring Grill. Um, my friend said that like, it's okay. I don't know. Um, I haven't been to Korean barbecue in a long time. So this is going to be interesting, um, but I'm excited. I've seen lots of videos. I think the last time I went was when I was like, a child. So I think that going to be exciting. I think he's going to laugh at me because he used to go, I think you, you've gone a few times with your friends, so you know what to do, but I don't know. I'm going to have to let him explain to me so that I know that I'm cooking my food properly. Because, which is funny because I'm always the one that cooks and I don't know, but yeah, so today was not fantastic. We made about half of what we made yesterday and what we made yesterday wasn't super great or anything um like compared to how we normally do i don't think that we're going to be coming back to hamilton just because it cost us like four hundred dollars or something like that just under four hundred dollars to to be here 
and we didn't make enough money that it was enough for me to want to come back like generally for a rule of thumb i like to make at least 10 times what the what the fee is and you know even then sometimes it depends because it depends on how how big the fee is as well like um and you know our setup it takes a lot of effort to put up and um to tear down and having to do that twice this weekend having to do that <laughs> twice this weekend was really exhausting and i i don't think we're gonna do it again you know like the farmer's market night shows don't think we're gonna do those again because both times we have not done well um and i think that literally our worst two cons like ever yeah those are our worst two cons and we usually do well over our times 10 of whatever the fee is there during like the summer and the winter so i don't know you win some and you lose some you never know it's just based off of it's just based off whatever the thing is so oh we're here so we're gonna go eat i'm super excited I don't know. This kind of looks closed. I hope, th oh, no, I see people. like we're done and the past year has been a lot for us I think you know we've been to a convention I think almost every single weekend this past like 14 months and we haven't really had a period of time where we've gotten a break and like our next show is going to be the Kitchener craft show I think or the KW craft show something like that um, and that's not until like November. So we basically have the rest of September and October off, which is so exciting. I am actually so happy that we're gonna be done um, for a while. And I'm gonna have lots of time to stock up, um, make more cat hats because they're super popular. <laughs> and then uh, make a bunch more things that I have been wanting to make. I just haven't been able to make some new designs. Um, we're gonna have some new things coming out soon um, and so I'm really excited for that and uh, I'll see you guys in our next video.